home. There's this almost imperceptible difference every time I go back home. The kind of changes that are so small that if I tip my head back, close my eyes and breathe deep, I can pretend they aren't there. But when I open my eyes, things are never the same. There are new chairs in the front room. The flowers bloom different. The sunsets are brighter. When I go home, I know some things will be there. My mom and I watching cheesy Hallmark movies and talking. My dad letting me choose music in the car and listening to all the weird facts I list off about whatever artist is singing it. My brother being late to everything, but always showing up. My sister-in-law laughing. Margot only paying attention to my dad. There's always this moment when I'm home where I sink into wherever I'm sitting and just look around and feel so content. And even the things I used to hate, I love now. My dad singing terribly on Saturday mornings while he makes his favorite giant breakfast. My mom crinkling up her nose when I put on rap in the car and immediately taking control of the radio back. My brother falling asleep everywhere. The fact that I can't go to any store in town without seeing someone I know from high school. Being home always leaves me wanting more. It feels like the color blue that the sky is in between sunset and when the final bits of daylight are gone. It feels like the second just before falling into bed, sleep starved and a little drunk at the end of a long day. It feels like the last steps of a long run. When you know rest and water and food are coming, because this is home, but I have to leave again. Till next time, Rochester.